Okay, so what do we have here? A Raspberry Pi. A running Raspberry Pi, to be precise. And this project is all about this button here. It solves three issues for me. First one is uh, those times when I need to take the Pi with me, I'm in a hurry and I don't have the time to really log on and do sudo help. The other one is a computer project uh, where the Raspberry Pi have to live within a car and you know when you turn the ignition on it should go on and then when you turn the ignition off it should go off, you cannot let it run. And the third one is uh, a bit of home automation. Uh, I'm using Kodi, so and the Pi is behind the TV and the idea is that once I shut down the TV the Pi should also shut down. But of course in all these occasions the Pi should shut down gracefully. So let's see what will happen when I press this button. Normally you can do that uh, very fairly easy and with a Python script running on boot, but check what will happen with the LED here. It disappeared, which means power to the Pi is not present. And while you can execute this same very very same behavior, yeah, like I said, with a Python script running on boot, which is listening here, you press the button and then the Python script shuts down the Pi. What the Python script cannot do is pulling out the power. And of course what the Python script again cannot do is this. Check this out. I will now press the button. Whoa, we have power. And yep, the kernel is loading. And within a few moments, once the Raspberry Pi is fully operational, once the OS on the OS level is operational, this LED will turn on, telling me that yeah, this guy is now started. <clears throat> like a typical ATX button from the old days. Okay, it's on. And within a few moments the screen will load, the graphical environment will be loaded. So, if you want to replicate this project, jump to my blog. There is a very detailed explanation how to do that and yeah, that's all. Bye! And here it is.